Hi, I'm Bert. And I'm Kirk. And welcome back to Stoner Foodie Review. And today we're trying something new by a, um, a household household name here. Yeah. We're going to try a new Hostess product. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Um, I'm excited for this because I haven't seen a lot I've, of new Hostess yeah, products. Yeah, I was going to say, I've never seen know? this before. This looks interesting. It looks like it's, you know, you can't really go wrong. Yeah. Uh, it's a uh, triple chocolate Kaz bar. Oh, nice. Yeah. The, I don't... I don't uh, know what a Kaz bar is, but... Uh, but it's the official snack of the Clash? Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice. They're rocking that Kaz bar. Triple Rock chocolate. that Kaz bar. <laughs> but triple chocolate, it's got some... Is that kind popcorn? Of like, I think it's like a popcorn candy okay. or something like that in there. I like that. Um, like, it said on the box, but my stoner ass didn't fucking pay that much attention to it. But, um... I'm pretty stoned, but first we gotta get stoned. Let's let's get stoned. Let's get stoned. What are we smoking on? Um, I think we have some OG Kush actually going on right nice. here. Nice. All right. As soon as I think it's working proper, you know. I forgot. What did we name this new nail? I don't know if we have. Maybe we could take a moment. I thought we did, but I'm not sure. We're gonna rename it. You get to. You get it. You do it. <sighs> Oh, man. I don't even know. I haven't named pieces in quite a while, actually, I have to admit. Yeah? It used to be a thing. I, I used to name all my pieces. Really? Yeah. Um, and then I just... I don't know. I think it's when I hit dab breaks I finally stopped doing that. Now, would you do, like, full, like, full-on, like, like, names, like, like... Yeah. Or would you do, like, animals? Would you be like, well, that one's Peanut, and then that one's Charles... Stevenson oh, like that, no, no, so it would, it would just be kind of, uh, I, I would base the name based on the description. Oh, okay. Uh, I like this really tall, uh, like, green leafy looking one, one right. that I call the Jolly Green Giant. Okay. So, you know, okay. things like that. Okay, that's perfect. Yeah. Right. Yeah, you didn't get weird with it. Too weird with it. It's always good to get weird with it, but if you get too weird with it. Get like, weird with it. Like, full on three names in a junior <laughs> or something. Yeah. <you> know? <laughs> <laughs> it always reminds me of uh, um, Half Baked Billy Bond Thornton. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. But that one more I thought that one works too because it's you know. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> are you ready to try this? I am, dude. I'm curious about what these are gonna be. Okay. Ooh. Oh, yeah. That's. I mean, that smells like Hostess chocolate to me. Yep. Definitely. All right. All right. Yeah. Here we go. Cheers. Cheers. Ooh. Mm. And so it was recommended that we um, we eat these cold. So we actually ate these out of the uh, out of the refrigerator. They've been chilling for a little while, and I can kind of see why. Yeah. Mm. I'm trying to get. What's the crunch? Those are those like. Whatever, like, the little popcorn um, crunch thingies are. I'm not 100% what they actually are, so um, I can tell you, but damn. That is a nice combination of chocolates, though. It's it's like, um, you know, it's like a hostess. It's like a, it's like a hostess. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> like Kind of like how Chef Boyardee all tastes the same. Right, it's yeah. like you got SpaghettiOs or, like, Pasteroni or whatever, it's all gonna just it's taste like. It's all the like, same. It's all the yeah. same, yeah. Um, oh. Oh, here we go. Oh, the box magically appeared. What are these? We use the force. Uh, sweet, sweet crunch, crunch pieces. Okay, whatever, so that could be anything. Whatever the fuck that means, yeah. This could be like anything. Yeah. Okay. I mean, like, I'm digging it though. This, this is a good snack. Um, mm. Not bad. Not bad. Is it just not quite doing anything special for you? I mean, like, let's put it this way. You could have blindfolded me, and you could have said, I'm going to give you a hostess, like, what a ho-ho or whatever, you know? And a Cas bar mm -hmm. probably wouldn't have been able to tell the difference. I mean, taste-wise, I would probably agree with you, but, like, texturally, it's definitely... It, it, and most of it just comes down to that little crunch thing that it's got. Yeah, I get, yeah. I just, you know, or you could have said it was, like, um... It's not Hostess, but like the little Debbie. There's like little Debbie snacks that are like that, where you, you know they have like that. Cake. It's like a cake. Mm -hmm. um, so, anyways, yeah, I was. But I mean, they're small. They're they're great as just like a little snack. Yeah, yeah. You know, I've I'm also like 
when it comes, I guess when it comes to this kind of chocolate, like when we do like the dark chocolates and stuff from other places, I, I tend to like like enjoy that more. When it comes to like kind of like hostess chocolate, like that kind of the you know, mm -hmm. I don't want to say mass produced, but you know what I'm saying like. But it is, yeah. Uh, yeah you know, okay, like, so for lack of a better term, mass produced. I don't, I'm not the biggest fan of chocolate like that stuff. You know, what I, does that make sense? Like I, I like more of like if I'm gonna have that, I, I'd rather have like the, you know, whatever the vanilla flavor or like the uh, okay, like a caramel or or like the. Uh, I, when I think of Hostess, I think of like the the oatmeal, the little Debbie oatmeal ones, you know, with the cream in the middle. That's like my more my jam for these kind of okay. individuals. Okay. I'm rambling. I'm sorry. No, yeah, that's fine. Um, I didn't say though. I actually do enjoy it, but they are kind of rich, and um, probably only do one of those at a time. I was gonna say I could honestly. They're very, sweet. They're very rich. I was. I mean, I. Got through it, but I still mm -hmm. have the that kind of you know. Yeah, they are definitely very sweet. But like, as far as new Hostess products go, give it a try. Like, I, I form your own opinion. You if know? you like it, yeah. If you like, ho if you're a Hostess person, you'll you're probably like enjoy it. it. Yeah, you'll probably enjoy it if you're a Hostess fan. Yeah. Um, but yeah, um, those are really tasty. But yeah, ultimately, I think yeah, not like a step. Outside of Hostess' right. uh, fucking comfort zone, really. Right. It might have changed my opinion if there was more of the sweet pieces. Like, if there was the actual, like, you know what I mean? More of a layer instead of, like, little hints of it. More of the crunch? Yeah. That okay. might have been more, like, a standout. Okay. Okay. Yeah, more crunchy and probably... I can get that. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. So, I guess it's safe to say Kirk didn't like it. Triple Kirk chocolate didn't cast like bars. it. Chocolate cast bars. <laughs> chocolate cast bars. All right. All right. Well, you know, we've had some cheese to this chocolate now. So uh, thank you guys for joining us today. Yep. Make sure you go to immaturestoners.com and get yourself some merch. Like the shirt we that Bert has on. Cute little, on them. We have cute little uh, indigenous animal, like, life. Smoking joints. As they are known to do. <laughs>